Retail giants are going bankrupt left and right, which doesn't make sense since the economy really is actually getting better. If it, all the numbers show, whether you like Trump or not, I don't think it has anything to do with Trump. I think it has to do with just the cycle of, of the economics. But he's president while the economy is clearly getting better. But a recent report by David Dayen in the New Republic shines a light on what's really behind retail stores like Macy's or Toys R Us and countless other uh, other companies being forced to shut their doors. Now, we just happen to have Peter Mugé. Peter, you are a specialist in this vulture capitalism. You, uh, you've handled huge cases where it comes to this type of predatory uh, capitalism that's taken place. What's happened? Why are these people going bankrupt? I'm all in favor of making money. And it's not the, the problem here. These are these asset stripping schemes where yeah. they come in, these private equity firms, and they just load the company down with debt and they strip the capital, they strip the revenue out of the company. And one of the key ways they do it is that they'll they'll loan the company hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. They strip the assets off like the actual physical property that they're on and put them in other entities. And then they, they charge the actual retailer like Kmart and, and Sears did this, they charge them rent, which just, so the debt, the rent, it just chokes the company. And then they start selling off assets like Kmart and Sears did it with Craftsman, you know, the the, the tools and Land's End outdoor supplies. So they, they strip the assets. They had to sell the asset just to stay they're in pirates. business. They're, yeah. they're modern day. And, and the Trump administration has now made this not only okay, but they've given them the good keeping house of approval by giving them a tax credit for the for the debt payments that they've made and for the interest payments that they've made. Here's, here's, this, here's a part of the story that I think really tells it. So you got this, you've got this organization that comes in, uh, uh, let, let's see, it's uh, Bloom Capital, one of them, Golden something, Golden Gate Capital and Bloom Capital. The two firms put together a merger, okay, for, with the pay less. They come in, they say, they say to pay less, we're here to help you. We're going to make your, your life wonderful. Your stock's going to go up and everything's going to be good. Well, they're nothing but vultures, okay? They come in, they strip the company. Interesting. They, they, they made two billion in cash. They paid themselves, by the way, these two, uh, you know, predatory companies. They pay themselves $700 million dollars. Did they pay themselves in dividends. in dividends so they can jack up their bonuses and they can jack up bonuses and for Bayless is in bankruptcy and now Bayless is in bankruptcy. But this is the new method of operation in America. This, this it, it, we thought it went away. It's After the Gordon Gecko of today. Oh my God! It, this uh, is this makes Gordon Gecko look like a saint. My God! They've taken it to the to a whole new. By the way, have you? <laughs> why is it that you always see Duke University's name behind? Some of these folks that are doing, uh, do they have like a special MBA program that shows corporate raiders how to do how business? How to do this? Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it, it must. Check it out sometime. Yeah. It's amazing.